Hello guys, welcome back to Razor Tech Productions. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can download Ubuntu Desktop on your Chromebook. So before we start, I just want to tell you guys, there won't be system requirements today, but I will be having this TXT file. I will put this inside of the description for you guys, and you guys can read this. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the apps you need are Chromebook Recovery Utility, TXT, and Chrome. That's it. And you also need a 8 or 15 gigabyte flash drive or SD card. So here's the first step. You need developer mode. This is what you need to do. You need to press escape plus refresh plus power. Once you do that, you should come up to a screen like this. Then it should say to turn off OS verification, press enter. Now if it says Chrome OS is damaged, just press control plus D. That doesn't mean that your computer is messed up. That it, I don't know why it says that. But now once you do this, then uh, you just press enter and then you it should tell you to press something and then you should it should take about 10 minutes just to go, go ahead and boost you into developer mode and then you sh we should be ready to start then all you need to do is you should have crossed and I'll go ahead and show you how to do this now so all you need to do is do control alt T and when you should see a screen like this if you don't have developer mode you will not see a screen like this then you put in shell and then it should put you into your Chronos localhost. Then we're gonna go back to here and we need to put in this command to download CBIOS. Once you do that, it should show that and it should, it should say downloading, supporting files, and getting device system info. Once you do this, a screen should come up and all you gotta do is just press one. And it'll go ahead and download CBIOS. There you go. And you see this FWWP, WP just means write protection. And for this video, you do not need write protection. So then all you need to do is just press one. And it's just say, if in, always boot from internal storage unless selected from boot menu. Just press in so then it won't automatically boot from internal storage. You want to be able to boot from your SD card or flash drive. Once you do this, it should just, it should just say installing RW legacy firmware and see it's done now. Once you do that, just press enter and press Q or put in Q. Then we just exit out of this and we're going to go back to the TXT. And then now all we need to do is just go to this website. I will put the link to this website inside of the description. One, you should see this screen. You just press download. And then this should bring you to this one. Thank you for downloading Ubuntu desktop. And then this is 2.6 gigabytes, so it shouldn't take long. And then I already have it, so don't uh, worry. Uh, you guys need to make sure you have it. Don't worry, you guys need to have it. I don't. So now what you need to do, you need to go to your files, and you should see this Ubuntu file. But for you, it should say ISO. You just need to change it from ISO to bin. And then you need to change all of those words from that to Ubuntu, so you'll be able to... Uh, do it better. So then once you do this, you need to download Chromebook Recovery Utility. Once you have this, you just go into here and you make sure you have your flash drive or SD card near you. You go ahead and plug it in. Once this is plugged in, then you should just go up here, do use local image, and you should see your .bin file. There you go. Then once you do that, you just select your flash driver SD card, and then it should go ahead and download. And this shouldn't take long since you're adding your own image. Well, I'm not gonna do it because I already have it on my um, flash drive. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on. So the rest of this part, I'm not gonna be able to show you, but what I will do is just put up a few photos on the screen for you guys. Once you do this, all you need to do is press escape, refresh, in power. Once you do this, it should turn off your screen and bring up a screen uh, from the beginning of this video. All you need to do is plug in your flash drive and then press Control L, like it says right here. And once you do this, it should bring you into a black screen like this. So then, once you uh, do that, all you need to do is just press Escape and then press Two, and that should boot you right into ubuntu desktop so guys i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here thank you guys for watching i told you guys this wasn't gonna be long please subscribe like and remember guys i'm trying to get to 
15 subscribers. So please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.